Hello everyone, Matthew here for another random off-season training, let's give something a try. Thing, loved the uh, flag football last week, thanks again to Manchester Crows for uh, for the hospitality. I'm still aching from that, uh, my right knee is still giving me a bit of jip because I found out the hard way that I am not in my 20s or my early 30s anymore and trying to keep up with those chaps was a bit of a mistake. So I'm here today to try some MMA. I'm at Brooklyn's Mill in lovely Lee in the northwest of England, the borough of Wigan. I used to be a member of a boxing gym, um, believe it or not. It's one of the best forms of fitness that I'd ever done. So I'm here to get stretched out and give that a whole different meaning. Quite nervous about this one. Got a headache, not feeling the best. So what better thing to do? Then do some good old fashioned hard work in the gym. Right, so let's try and work on some fitness. And I'm here with Lead Monkey Thompson, who's just run the MMA session. Uh, not been able to film today because there's been young, youngsters in there, which is probably good on my behalf because I've been schooled by a 13 year old girl. <coughs> Lee, what sort of things have we just done today? Um, well, you got pinned to the mat by a 13 year old girl. Yes, um, thank you. No problem. Um, so today we've, we've basically looked at breaking posture um, and taking somebody down um, to the mat. So we, we broke it down into basics. Um, we warmed up with a, a move that we call swimming. Um, and we've taken that swim motion into elevating arms, pulling arms. So we've worked an arm drag where we pull an arm down, which breaks the opponent's base, which brings them down. Um, and then it then enables us to grab uh, an ankle for an ankle pick or enables us to lock a head for a headlock, um, guillotine. Um, we've elevated arms, so it means we can get under the ribs. It basically destroys their base again, and it's enables us to drop low, shoot down, and pick the legs and take our opponents down to the floor. So if in the world of MMA, I was against a striker who was out striking me, um, it's at these points that I'd be looking at working a takedown to take them down mm -hmm. so I could work my ground game with them. Yeah. So in the hour that we've just done, I'm absolutely knackered and sweaty. I'm feeling like every muscle hurts. What are the benefits of doing this type of training MMA? Uh, it's an all over body workout, um, de depending on the type of session that we're working. Um, if it's wrestling and grappling, we're going from being stood up to the floor, so obviously bending the legs, it's your quads, it's your hamstrings, it's your calf muscles, it's your glutes, it's your core, um, it's your arms, because obviously we're having to grab them, we're having to hold, um, it's explosive, it's dynamic. Um, and, and again, I, I know we've done some training today with some movements and exercises, but a lot of the uh, the lads that I teach that train that fight, uh, we also do fighters classes and we do fighters circuits for those guys. Um, not just the normal classes of just learning techniques. Techniques are great, but they also need to be fit and you know to have a good stamina rate whilst they're actually doing these fights as well. Excellent. So there you go, stamina, legs, core. Yep. Where's everything? All those big muscles that you need for hitting those baseballs, people. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's there's lots of different workouts we do. I mean, for example, we do one which is um, kettlebell based. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll be singing kettlebells. What you'll see a lot of the times is people stood up doing the kettlebell work. What I do is I take the, the um, that platform away and I get a lot of people knelt down, which basically means when you're doing something like a Thor lift where you're picking the kettlebell up, you can't use the momentum of your legs. So if we were to go down to the mat here and we were to pull the kettlebell from here and lift, I can't use my legs to push me up and base me up, so I've now got to use the strength in the upper body and the core. Same with the kettlebell swing, if I bring my base in and bring it narrow, and I lift here and I switch and bring it back, it's still a kettlebell swing, but I'm now, I can't base out from this position here and use my legs, so I'm using my upper body and my core a lot more. Um, we also use slam balls. Um, the slam balls, obviously we do the standard slam. For wrestling and grappling, we do a squat and an overhead throw. For some of the boxing and striking, the kickboxing and the tie boxing, we'll use it, we'll shoulder it and we'll push it through and throw it as though we're throwing a punch. 
Um, I work with some um, young lads who do rugby as well, um, a couple of local rugby teams. And with those, with the slam balls, what we do, we get them stood side on and we get them to throw the ball so they're passing it down the line, throwing a rugby ball. Yeah. So again, it's increasing uh, muscle strength, stamina, because obviously they're throwing nine and 10 kilograms, whereby the rugby ball doesn't weigh anywhere near that. So it's in, in, increasing their dynamics. Um, the lung capacity as well, working with the, the weights that they're working with, so their oxygen levels are going up whilst they're training as well. Nice one. Lee? Ah, mate, How you can't you? just throw that on, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Cheers, that. Appreciate it. So if you're not satisfied with, with Lee talking about tying people up in knots and making them experience pain with all these things, he's kindly agreed to uh, demonstrate some moves. So all those that have wanted to see me experience a bit of pain, <laughs> Over a few years, this one's for you. isolating arms or MMA, they'd be strikes, I can't hit the back of the head but I can hit the front, I can hit the body, okay, or I'd be looking at rotating back over, one hook in, one out, lock the arm and we go across the throat and we squeeze for the neck and choke. Oh, nice. Should we do some more? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, take it if you want. From there, no problem <laughs> at all. <laughs> do some ninja rolls for you if you ninja want. Rolls. Okay, so if your opponent was down in this position here, I'd be looking at taking an arm, taking this, and I'd look at rolling him over. Isolation. So we've now got what we call a crucifix. There's some strikes. I'm pretty sure there's a few people watching this that would love to. Yeah. 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 From here, as I sit oh. back. Oh, there we go. Straight the arm, straight the I can't even tap. You can't, can you? It had to be a verbal one. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> That's all you're getting. Is that it? Is that it? Are we done? Yeah. Well, that was intense. Like, if my legs weren't knackered after last week, they sure are now. My left leg feel a bit jellyish, but that was a workout and a half. Really enjoyed that. Some good ideas there for some good training, as you heard Lee saying. I think I'll be coming back again in a few weeks. Got to get rid of this timber and get myself feeling mentally better and physically better. Long may the punishment continue. And uh, why not let me know next week what other mental sports or fun sports I should be trying. I'll see y'all soon. Ta-ra.